Hey everybody, so I got to see Avengers Infinity War this afternoon. Like, wow. Um, actually, the stunned effect is wearing off. All I could really do is just I post it on Stardust, and I just was like, wow. Going all Christopher Walken on, it was like, blew my mind. It was just like, poof. Before I get into it, uh, again, I'm not going to spoil this one at all. This is like, if you're a Marvel fan or you just want to see a great, entertaining uh, mix of action, adventure, humanity, love, hate, you know, all the emotions and all the dwarves, you know, grumpy, sleepy, dopey duck, go see this movie. Anyways, if you're new here, don't forget, hit subscribe, hit notifications, I post on a weekly basis. We all know the basic story of this is, is Thanos is, has the Infinity Gauntlet and he's running around and collecting the Infinity Stones. I guess some exposition in case you've never seen the movie. So this movie is set up for like people who totally know the Marvel Universe and if you've never seen any of the Marvel movies or know nothing about you know, Infinity Gauntlet, Thanos, Infinity Stones, the whole thing, there is a bit of exposition from one of the characters to say, okay, this is what's going on. Just like if you saw Guardians of the Galaxy, and Del Toro's character, the collector, he told everybody, here's how we got the stones. Same idea. Once we got that all established and out of the way, we started following all our different characters, different times, different places, whether in Earth, space, here, there, everywhere. One thing I thought of too, we have almost absolutely everybody in this movie. Everyone. There are a couple of people missing. There's been spe speculations, but I don't want to say who showed up to the party and who didn't. Uh, there has been talk about, you know, who dies, who lives. I'm not going to spoil that either because even I was surprised when I saw, like, wow, we killed this character, we killed that character, that one's still alive, this one's still going on. What's, you know, you wouldn't expect to see uh, showed up. Unless you're, like, super smart and you've been really following to a finite detail of the entire MC universe and you've uh, watched all 18 movies, you know, again and you like you binge watch before that you might have some things but i have a pretty good memory about most things i think even if you were to sit down and dive down and go like okay like we got to figure all this stuff out and map it all out before we go see this movie i think the best thing to do is and i didn't listen to any i watched a couple of spoiler free reviews but mostly people are saying like we're not going to tell you anything this is a pretty good movie on uh, rotten tomatoes and i think on stardust i gave it like four out of five it wasn't perfect but the feeling i walked away from was yeah this is a really good movie I used to go on last year about Baby Driver this will probably be the movie this year unless say Deadpool 2 or some other superhero movie but that's the one thing I took away from this too this wasn't just like I said earlier this was not just a a superhero only movie this wasn't action this wasn't fighting we're not beating up on Thanos for two and a half hours this is story building our characters together why are we bringing these characters? Why did so and so bump into so and so? Have you seen enough of the trailers? It's like Thor goes, Who the hell are you guys in this Guardians of the Galaxy? Or, you know, Spider Man seeing Stephen Strange for the first time, you know. Oh, I'm Doctor Strange. Oh, we're using our made up names. Well, I'm Spider Man. So all, all the things, um, of course, usually for the trailer, they, use, they don't always use the same footage. So it's either stuff from, you know, that's been edited out and they drop it in, or sometimes too, you make some scenes. Never deleted, but yeah, most of the footage that we saw in the trailers did come from the movie. It wasn't like non-used footage, and it's like, wait a minute, I saw this in the trailer. Why isn't this in the movie? Lots of process in this movie. Uh, I probably will be seeing this a multitude of times. Uh, like I saw Baby Driver five times. I will be for sure seeing this again next Saturday with my buddy. I may see it again before then. It's interesting how we start linking all the characters, and the what's nice about this too. As again, I keep saying everybody's in this. Even secondary characters show up, which is interesting. And we also get the classic Stan Lee. Mm, I want to say so much, but I can't. I will do a, I think I will do once I get it again. And it might be in a week's time or something because I want to go see this again because there's two and a half hours of like constant bombardment of information. And I mean, I was like clapping a couple of times and yeah, and I know that line and that line. This was like, but the process at all, it's just mind-boggling some of it. The only downside, I will say, and again, it's not a spoiler, but if you've seen the trailers, you know, there's a big fight in Wakanda. And, you know, the alien monsters are, and you got Captain America and the, and the Wakandians. 
and Black Panther, those guys, they're going to fight the alien monsters. And as I've said in other reviews too, I'm not a fan of CGI, especially when it's overworked. And that's why I didn't like either. Of course, this would be alien monsters can make them look whatever. But again, 50 million teeth in their mouth and they're like really super pumped and really fake. I mean, you, you have to make fake alien monsters. You can't make like all oh, real life alien monsters. I get the idea, but sometimes the, the magnitude and the action and stuff was just too much. I actually more enjoyed the quieter scenes where, where we get character development or character interaction. The writing is spot on. I want to go see it again too because there was some dialogue I missed. There was maybe somebody said a line that like, what was that again? And it was dropped or, but like really good humor. It's stupid out of the ordinary. Everybody is basically who they are. I know somebody did a review and they said some of the characters because these are, this is the Russo brothers directing this one. So They've done it. Uh, I, let me, I'll double check. I'll post it here. But I know for sure they did do uh, Winter Soldier. And they know how to make a movie. This is up there with like the first Avengers movie, like just the magnitude. But in the first Avengers movie, too, I didn't like the third act with the big war in New York because I thought it's like, how much can we put in here and how much collateral damage and death and destruction can we cause in a city? This sort of gets, well, because I guess, you know, Thanos wants to take over the universe and cause a balance that kind of thing and that's an ongoing thing about balance balancing our lives balancing your spirit balancing you know the cosmos most people know too they're you if you are fans uh this is a two-part movie so this is like two and a half hours of part one even though they don't call it that but next year it will be releasing infinity wars part two do this in this kind of a movie. This is basically like all the other movies that were doing two-parters like Harry Potter, Hunger Games, uh, Twilight. Those are all just money grabs. Like, let's just take the product and make it longer. Or The Hobbit, three three-part Hobbit movie out of a book that that's big. That's that's crap. But this movie, because there's so much to tell and there's so many characters, it's like you, there is a quote from uh, Mark Ruffalo at one of the red carpet interview so like you know if you gave every character three minutes to say something you'd have like so many hours because you just can't get it all in and actually talking about the CG the one thing I thought was really good with the CG was uh, Rocket Raccoon his CG looked really good this time it's like seemed to be yeah, Rocket Raccoon's uh, CG was like spot on it looked almost like a, you know cat fur because in the first couple of movies that you could tell it was CG but this actually looked really good. That's one of the things that caught my eye in a couple of scenes where he's actually talking to one of the other characters and it's just like, yeah, that's like really good. Actually, I was really impressed with a lot of the Vista shots, or like a lot of the wide shots where you get to see, you know, here's this, here's the landscape or we're on this planet or we're somewhere in Wakanda or, you know, the New York shots. But there are some really nice, beautifully shot. And I haven't felt that since like, shield uh season one the pilot that got me like you know a little kid at christmas the little you know back of my hairs on my back of my neck or the hairs on my on my spider-man arm this is going to be a, this is going to be in my top whatever i don't do lists or whatever because i have too many genres and too many types of movies uh, i like and i can't really go like well, what's my favorite what's my best because i have too many i like i can't just like pick one or say i have my top five my top ten it's like movies i will watch again that's a better category of anything. What's a movie I would watch again and again and again? And I have a lot of movies like that. Uh, definitely a must-see for almost everybody. Everyone! But again, as always, I put it out to you guys. Did you see this movie? Are you totally in love with this movie? Because it's, I'm not going to be one of these people that are going to say, like, if you don't like it, you don't like anything. Because this movie, I think anybody will like this kind of movie. Like an action movie like this, you you don't have to be a comic book movie, unless you're like a total, you know, Nicholas Sparks, rom-com, diehard. You're not going to like this movie, but totally amazing movie. And I'm going to keep saying it over and over again. Got to go see it. Got to go see it again and again and again. And actually, it was really good, too. Two good scores. They still have the traditional uh, Avengers uh, theme song from the first movie. Da 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 dee dee.
when something really good and then there's a, almost like a Thanos based theme where something is happening and it's like uh oh and instead of a dun dun there's this really good music and they were playing that mostly through the end credits anyway as I said did you like it did you not like it what did you think did you like the video did you not like the video don't forget hit subscribe notifications I'm here every week and as always see you in the next one